Hello, this is Clinton Miner from Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft. I've been putting together some of these first first aid and medical uh, videos for the channel and sharing with you the knowledge that I have. I got a little blowback from at least one viewer who asked if I had any medical training. And I'll tell you, I don't have any specific medical training other than uh, Boy Scouts and, and a, a lot of reading. But as well as that, I've also spent a lot of time on YouTube. But because of that blowback, I thought it would really be helpful to bring somebody in uh, back up my bona fides. So I've got my niece, Molly Miner, here. Molly is a sergeant in the United States Army, and she is a flight paramedic. Flight paramedic. She flies in the hos or in the USC helicopter, Black the Blackhawks, out to pick up the the guys who have been hurt. She's finishing training, or she's done her training in that. She's actually right now in officer training school and working through that. She agreed to come share some ideas with us. And so what we're going to talk about in this video is um, wound care uh, for severe uh, wounds. Molly has agreed to come talk to us about wound care. She's going to share some ideas on that and share some, some uh, newer ideas about how they take care of these wounds. And so Molly, why don't you just tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here on the, on the top of these um, medic packs. So we've got a couple things here. This is what uh, we're currently using and are kind of switching away from just a little bit. This is, we call it the Israeli bandage. And it's just trauma wound dressing with a, um, with a compression, with a compre attached to a compression bandage, excuse me. And now we're switching over a little bit to this new H bandage. And we've already opened this one. Yeah, this is one that's been unopened, so you can see that the, the, the size is no, a little bit bigger than the one that the, than the Israeli bandage. The Israeli bandage is like I talked to you about in in my trauma kit. Yeah, Go ahead. They're pretty they're pretty comparable in size, yeah. so not much difference there. Um, the other thing we had is uh, the Curlix. So we've got a little bit of hemostatic here, and what we do instead of using the what is it the the C uh, C locks the hem hermostatic uh, um, the powder powder which becomes problematic if you don't have steady hands. Like sometimes people will get overexcited when they're opening it, and then it kind of blows everywhere. It gets in your eyes, and and um, the process behind it is it cauterizes as well when you when you put it in the wound, and so it can be not great in your eyes. Yeah. So the medics use this instead, and what you'll do is you'll just start unwrapping it and then pack the wound like so this. So this is a wound, you just like stuff it in there. And then you just shove it in there like that. And then if there's excess, you can use the excess For and the then compression. do pressure and compression there. I, I watched a, a video earlier that talked about compression. It's like when you're doing compression, it's almost your whole body weight. You're yes. really pushing hard. Something I don't know that I really realized. I thought you'd just be pushing some, but when you get this kind of a wound, you are really putting pressure on it. Um, this, I think this has some hemostatic, hemostatic agents in it as well. Um, and so you're holding that down for three, four minutes, something like that. Three or four like minutes, that. yeah. It takes a little bit of time for the blood so, to So let's say that that hole that I made with my hand is right here in my arm. And so Molly's going to show you this, this newer type bandage. And really the, the value in it is, is you'll see when she, she goes through it here. So this new bandage, and keep in mind that I've just been introduced to it within the last month or so, it has... A little bit of a clip right here that adds a little bit of pressure and some security as well it also has the velcro that goes across and it's got the dressing and the the stuff i like about this one is the dressing is a little bit wider than what you're going to find in the israeli bandage so you get a little bit more coverage it's a little bit thicker it's kind of more substantial and then you get the added pressure and security from this h clip here so let's go ahead and put so say the wound is there say my i've got a hole in my arm right here and wrap that around and you've got that first piece that has the Velcro on it. So it gives you the security. And then you're going to wrap it and cover that bandage on both sides. Covering the, the under dressing. Yes. Is that on? Huh? And once you get that done, you can take it, bring it around both sides of that H clip, and then bringing it here. So if you lose your grip on it, it's still going to stay secure. It also adds pressure onto that point where the injury is, so you're going to get a little bit more pressure of that than you would with the normal dressing, and then wrapping it across here, making sure to check the sides so that that bandage isn't sticking out anywhere. And then on the end, it's got another piece of Velcro. You can see here, 
You secure that, and it's got the clip. And the clips just hook into the sides uh, of the of the last wrap you put around there. So there you go. And what I mean, that is an amazing thing as far as how much pressure that's putting on there, uh, not just in my arm in general, but in this specific spot. And and if as we were talking earlier, if she had packed my arm with this and had this underneath that H, you can imagine the the direct compression in that that wound. Great, great thing. Um, I'm excited to have this in my kit. Um, it is a, uh, a a just a fantastic resource. So I can't hardly move my arm. Uh, again, this is Clinton Miner from Sages to, to Sawtooth Bushcraft. This is my niece Molly Miner, Sergeant Molly Miner, soon to be Lieutenant Molly Miner. She's got two brothers in the military, and we've had a lot of joking about whether or not they're going to salute her because they're big <laughs> brothers. Uh, but uh, in fact, one of the uh, older brothers, the flight suit behind us is his. Um, I really appreciate your viewing of these videos. I think this is a great resource. Uh, these are made by H and H, um, H and H Medical Corp, and I think you can find these online. I'll, I'll do a little search and I'll put uh, some links in the uh, description. The other gauze type item is called Curflex. Curlix. Curlix. Excuse me. K e r l i x. Again, I will find that online and put a, a link to it in the, the description. So if you if you need to find that, um, a couple of great resources. Uh, still a, a, a very valid and valuable resource is the, what, what most people refer to as an Israeli bandage. It's just a, an all-in-one bandage that has the ability to put compression, has a small uh, dressing unit in it, and has a way of latching itself off so you don't have to have pens or clips. Uh, another valuable resource you can have. Um, if you like these videos, always remember we do like the likes. We really like the subscriptions. Please subscribe, share these with your friends. Be prepared for the kinds of issues that are going on in our world today. Uh, and as we say at Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft, if you're prepared, you're never really lost.